bitches like it's stolen. Gotta have the best day, where the best day. Kissing they was hit at the last call, so let ball. Tryna have your ass down. <laughs> She gon' shake it for them blue hunters. She gon' shake it for them blue hunters. Right. She gon' shake it for She gon' shake it for Hey guys, so I just got my haircut, which you absolutely can't tell because it matches the color of the top of my car. But I did actually just get a cut and now it's time to go to school. Like you saw, I have a review today because on, on Thursday, October 20th, I have my second test, my second quiz. So today we have a little review and it's extremely important to go to these reviews because he kind of goes over every single thing that's going to be on the test. Obviously not in detail. You need to study that on your own, but he does give us a little insight on that. So that's extremely important. I need to go to class. And um, after class, hey, there was a reason I threw on these clown shoes. That's not style. I didn't wear these for class. I didn't wear these to go get my haircut. It's because right after class, I'm going to go to the gym and play some lunchtime basketball. Yes, I know I have a game later tonight, but did you forget who I am? I'm Brawadis. I love basketball and I can't get enough of it. So yes, after class, I'm gonna go straight to the gym. Fuck, I need to make time to eat. I didn't even eat. You guys already saw I finished uh, editing my video earlier today before class. I actually started last night around midnight and I got most of it done until around three in the morning and I was just like, I, I knocked out. I fell asleep with the laptop in my hand at three in the morning. Sorry guys, I had to go. I'm gonna be late to class. But um, yeah, so I fell asleep at three in the morning when I was trying to finish editing and I couldn't get that done. I woke up this morning and I had the laptop in my lap and I'm just like, wait, what the fuck happened last night? So, you know how people wake up drunk? You know how people fall asleep blacked out and they wake up drunk with throw up in their lap and a bunch of beer cans in their lap? I literally fall asleep editing and I wake up with the laptop in my lap. So, um, as you guys saw, I finished my video earlier today. So I got that out the way. I barely got any sleep, but it's all worth it because now I can go play some lunchtime basketball after class instead of going home to finish my video after class. It's time to go to school. And cue the comments. Bro, your haircut looks exactly the same after you get a haircut. Why'd you even go get a haircut? It looks exactly the same. Yes, I understand to a lot of people it looks exactly the same, but to me, I like it. I love getting haircuts and I just won't ever stop. I just, well, I just can't stop, I won't stop, it's an addiction. It's worse than a drug addiction and I'm probably gonna enter rehab therapy. But, haircuts, weekly. If not every five days, let's go. Yeah. They me down on my line. Busy as usual, but we should make some time. Okay guys, so I, I just got out of class. Let's just say, Staying up till three in the morning editing and then waking up early to finish editing on a school night is not the smartest idea. I was literally like this in class. I was literally like looking at the teacher and looking at the board and listening, but I was falling asleep at the same time. I, I shouldn't stay up that late to edit, but I had to get my video done because let me tell you why right now. I'm about to go to the gym. What would have happened if I didn't stay up till three in the morning to get my video done? I would have came home right now to do my video. But instead, right now I can go to the gym to go play some basketball. So it is all worth it because in the name of the holy basketball gods, I love playing basketball. So I don't care if I'm falling asleep during class. I don't care if I stay up till three in the morning editing, five in the morning, six in the morning. If I have to wake up early to edit, because for times like this, when I'm on the basketball court, it's all worth it. So got my basketball shoes on. And it's time to go play. So yeah, guys, because usually my schedule on school days, when I go on Tuesdays and Thursdays, is I wake up, go to class, and then come back home to edit. 
and then I just go to my game later that night to play basketball. But today I was just in such a mood to play basketball that I decided, you know what, let me finish my video last night so that I can play basketball at the gym instead of come home and do my video after class. I can also play my game at night, so hopefully I don't tire myself out. But let's go do this. <laughs> Guys, so I just saw a cop drive by and you know, I was debating like, should I swerve off and crash into him? Or, you know, should I pull out my cell phone and start texting? Or I don't know, should I just drive into the garage of a home? I just always wonder like, why don't I ever get arrested? Like I wanna be arrested one time. I think that would make for some good vlog footage. And you know, sometimes I just get bored driving and I'm just like, you know what, how fun would it be to just give a cop a reason to arrest me and you know not only good vlog footage but a good thumbnail and a good title you know omg arrested gone wrong omg Brawadis arrested and is going to jail now that would be the clickbait because i would not actually i probably would be going to jail so i don't know guys i just always want to like you know gain a high speed chase or just fucking just get arrested i don't know it just seems like a fun experience i'm just joking guys if you can't tell i'm joking but no, I'm actually not joking. Maybe one of these vlogs. Wait, my turn. Wait, thanks. Maybe one of these vlogs you'll see me getting arrested. I don't know for what. Maybe for when the sun season starts, I'm probably gonna get arrested for. For a. For a D U I O F T W Z Y. That means. Driving under the influence of after the watching the Phoenix Suns lose, so you're in a mental state of depression and you're not eligible to drive. Hey, 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 oh, 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 the trash guy. Wait, let me go. Don't go in front of me. Ah! Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Bitch, drive. So, yeah, guys, yeah, there's this thing that it's called. It's like this mental state of depression I get after the Suns lose a game. Every time the Suns lose a game, I get into this really, really bad depression. And I don't think I'm allowed to drive because of how sad and depressed and upset I get every time the Suns lose a game. So I might get arrested for, wait, what do you call that? Driving under influence of Suns losing, whatever the fuck, D-U-Y-Z-X-A-B-C-K-Y. Driving under the influence of mental depression after the Phoenix Suns lose. Before the gym, I need to eat. I'm starving. I haven't ate all day, so I'm gonna eat. Pick something up to eat after, before the gym. Come on, I'm gonna be late to lunch. Trying basketball. Come on. Oh wait, do they have cameras? No. Oh yeah, they do. Thank you for the Chick Fil A. My name is Robert. How may I serve you today? Um, hi. Uh, can you actually give me a minute to order, please? Yeah, go ahead and take your wait. time. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, thanks. I wasn't even ready to order. I'm such an idiot. Guys, Chick Fil A hires the nicest people. Chick Fil A owners founders if you're watching this a1 on the hiring process you guys hire such nice people sometimes i actually think they're robots because of how nice they are they're so nice oh wait i'm pretty sure you could hear everything i said uh i'm actually ready right just, it wasn't the chicken egg and cheese or was it uh just the chick-fil-a biscuit all right and you said a three count menu yeah please all right anything else for you uh no that's it any sauce today can i please do chick-fil-a sauce Alright, it's going to be 559 at the window for you, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Guys, yeah, Chick-fil-A workers are so nice. Maybe sometimes a little too nice to where I feel like maybe they're just robots who are just programmed to say what they say, but hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I literally... Who remembers my old vlogs when I used to... Not that this was a good thing, but I used to sit in the parking lot and eat my food because I didn't have time to go home. Well, here's another scenario. I want to go play some basketball. I want to go play some lunchtime basketball. Holy shit, he put me four Chick-fil-A sauces. What a nice guy. I'm pretty sure he had a crush on me because usually they literally put one sauce. No matter what you get, you could order every single thing off the menu and they only put one sauce. So he for sure had a crush on me. Look at this. Jackpot. Look. She gon' shake it for them blue honeys. She gon' shake it for them blue honeys. She gon' shake it. So yeah, guys, I want to go play some basketball, so I don't have time to go all the way back home. The gym is like down the street. So the things I do for the sport I love, I got to now eat these in the car.
No wonder he gave me four sauces to make up for the damn biscuit. It's hard and crispy for whatever reason. Chick-fil-A usually has good food, but this one's really hard. Oh well. See you guys in the next clip. Yes guys, there is a lot of people who text me, they ask me, they say, bro, you have a game tonight. Why are you gonna go to the gym to play basketball? Just relax until your game or just go do something until your game. And I say, you know what? I'm just joking. I say, I love basketball. They say, why do you go play hours and hours of basketball at the gym when you literally have a game a couple hours after you stop playing? And I'm just like, honestly, I love basketball. My mom hates that the most. My mom always tells me, don't, like, don't do, don't overdo it because your body's just going to shut down. And I don't listen to her. But mom, I still love you. Don't worry. I do, mom. I really do love you. But I do love basketball as well. Don't worry, mom. I love you more than I love basketball. But I just love to play, so we're gonna go play now. And then we're also gonna go play again in a couple hours for my game. Guys, don't even ask me why I do this to myself. I don't know why I do this to myself. Going to the gym to play hours and hours and hours of basketball when I have a game tonight. I don't know why I do it to myself. My knees fucking hurt, my legs hurt, my body's sore, but I don't know. I really don't understand why I do it. I just get so tempted to play basketball. So I play like over three hours right now and then my game is in a couple hours. So I don't know. We'll see if my body can hold up or if I'm a cramp up like LeBron James. I don't know. Hi, Tammy. Can I? This is Brandon, by the way. Can I come in to do my eyebrows, please? My when? Um, when are you free? Uh, because I'm, I'm busy morning. Oh, oh, so you can't take me right now? Uh, right now, how long? Um, five minutes? I can come in like five, ten minutes. Ten minutes the most. Okay, ten minutes. Okay, okay. okay. I'll be there, Tammy. Thank you. Okay. Okay, bye. Tammy Clutch. I love Tammy, guys. Fuck. I just got back from the gym. I need my eyebrows done. It's been weeks and we. Week. I'd say like, oh, it's been like three or four weeks. Yes, I don't care, guys. I do get my eyebrows waxed. Whatever. Oh, shit. I need to go. She's going to kill me. It's been like three or four weeks. I haven't got my, anything done to my eyebrows. Yes, I know, guys. Say whatever you want. Oh, that's feminine. That's dumb. I don't care. Yes, I get my eyebrows waxed. Look, I'd rather get my eyebrows waxed and have them look nice then have them all bushy. I'm Middle Eastern. My eyebrows grow like crazy. Then rather than have them be all bushy and shitty just so it's not feminine. I don't care. It's 2016. It's almost 2017. Guys get their eyebrows waxed or fucking plugged or threaded. I don't know. Deal with it. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to go get my eyebrows waxed. My favorite thing to do in life. I'm just joking. That shit hurts so bad. This is my favorite song. And then she gets a little deeper. Well, my voice still sounds the same, but I'm talking for her. I think that's when Drake puts it in. So her voice gets a little deeper, I don't know. But, guys, for, <laughs> for those who don't know, getting your eyebrows done, is it's, that's just as major of a key as getting your hair cut. Like, like, that's just as important as haircuts. You don't need to do it as often. Like, you need a haircut like every five or six days. You don't need your eyebrows done. Even once a month is fine, but I know some girls who, no, you need that shit like once a week, but that's beyond me. No, I'm just joking. Guys, like, let me show you the part where Rihanna's just having fun and she's going, you, and then Drake sticks it in, so she goes, you, like, she gets deeper, watch. So this is just like her herself by herself. See the good voice? And then Drake comes in like this, you know, he's like, hey, what's up? He hits her with some hotline bling and then, and then. Guys, look what I come home to. Wait, where do you go? I almost ran him over. Bosley. Hey, where were you, Bosley? Who let you out of the house? How'd you get out? No, that's not answering my question. That's rude. Oh, oh. Mom, I almost ran him over. Oh my God. Who let him out? <laughs> he didn't come in front of my car though. He waited for me to pull up. Bosley, you waited for me to get on the driveway? Yeah, I took him out. Oh no, he pooped in Brian's room in the morning. 
that's all, all over YouTube now. Don't worry. Really? Everybody knows. <laughs> Guys, I was running late to my haircut appointment this morning, so I didn't have time to take Bosley out for a walk. So I was like, okay, whatever. He'll make it. Just while my mom wakes up, he literally poops in Brian's room five minutes after he wakes up. Bosley, you can't do that. You know, I don't blame you. No, you can't do that. He was awake for five minutes and he already pooped in his room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so now I'm super sore. My legs are done and I have a game tonight. But, uh, but Jack said she's coming over to give me a massage. So I'm hyped with that. So she's gonna be here any second. I need to hop in the shower because I just got back from playing basketball. Guys, let this be a warning from me. If you have a game, don't go to the gym literally right before your game and play for hours. Guys, my mom and Jackie are cleaning out the whole garage. But... Mom, I say leave the plants. You say shut your mouth. Hey! <laughs> no, the panda, 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 panda. There we are. Eighth seed. We are one and two, one wins, two losses. I don't even know what this team name means, guys. If you haven't been with me from the beginning of this basketball season, I did not make this team. I didn't know I was playing on this team. I just got picked up literally the day before the season started. There it is. Leading. Oh my god. <laughs> they spelled my last name wrong. It's Brandon A, and they took a, and they took a picture of me to put it on the website. So that should be up soon. See, like I said, I don't know what this team name means, but 21 points a game. Oh, the team we're playing is three and one. Three wins and one losses against one and two. Let's go. What is going on, you guys? Brandon here, aka Brawatis, and yes, I am here to do the outro of the video. If some of you guys are confused because you were expecting the basketball game footage, don't worry, that's gonna be coming, but it's gonna be uploaded tomorrow because look at this vlog, it's already about 20 minutes long, and you throw in the game footage, which is 40 minutes. This vlog's gonna end up being over an hour long, and my videos are already long enough. Some people already complain about how long my videos are. I don't want to upload a video that's over an hour long. I know a lot of people don't have time to watch that with the people that have work and then the other people that have school because today is a weekday. It would just be way too long. So I split them up. Today was half the day. And then tomorrow's video is going to be my basketball game footage and special guest appearance. Faze Rug was actually at the game. He wasn't playing. He wasn't allowed to play. He's not on the roster. But he actually came to support. He was in attendance. So tune in to tomorrow's video if you want to see if we won or lost. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys all. I appreciate you guys all. And uh, shout out to you guys who met my mom. My mom went to the mall earlier today. And she met a ton of fans. She even took pictures with them. So shout out to you guys. Guys. Today's Wednesday, exactly one more week until the Phoenix Suns play their first game. I'm ready for the season. I'm actually going to be there. I'm going to be in Phoenix. I'm flying out to Phoenix next week. I'm going to be in attendance for their first game. I can't wait. Game number one out of 82. NBA season is officially here next week. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, I don't know if it was just me, but when I was editing this vlog, it kind of felt like, like an older Browatis vlog. If you guys have been with me from the start or from a long time ago, you guys know what I mean. It just had the feel of like, you know, Chick-fil-A before school and go to the gym. It just felt like an old Browatis vlog for some reason. Those of you guys who have been with me for a long time know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I was just editing it and I got the feel like, hey, this reminds me of the videos I used to upload way back when I first started YouTube.